I decided I definitely want to get married again and some of you are probably like um obviously and then some of you are probably like um why would you ever do that to yourself why even make that decision now why not just wait down the line so I want to talk to you guys about why I want to get married again why marriage is important to me and what that looks like going forward and what my timeline is I'm not exactly in a rush to get married again but I also am trusting God's timing and looking forward to starting a family being in a lifelong relationship with someone. A little background information. I'm 21 right now. When I was 18 years old, I got married. We separated a year later and then our divorce just got finalized a couple of months ago. And I've had this past year to you know, work on myself, figure out what I want in life, figure out why my marriage didn't work and what I value about relationships and marriage and all that. Like I have a little bit of a different perspective on why I wanna get married and here's why. So my number one reason is I want a life partner. I love relationships. I'm kind of a romantic. I've always loved the idea of being in a relationship. I love having a life partner, a best friend, all of that. I want this to be someone who's going to push and motivate me, encourage me, be there for me, all of those things. Like literally just a life partner to go through the ups and downs with, someone who's like-minded with me, and we can push each other to be our best selves together. Just all of the things that come with the relationship. I wanna be in a relationship, but why exactly do I wanna get married? Well, number two is because I wanna honor my relationship and I wanna honor God. So I I want to honor that relationship with marriage because it deepens the relationship. Marriage is a covenant that you make with God, you, your partner, and God. I recently became a Christian, which I wasn't when I was married before. Neither of us were Christians. We were born in a religion that our families raised us in. It was very different. Although I thought that I was in like a Christian relationship and honoring God with it and stuff, that definitely was not the case. Marriage is an institution of God. It's not just a legal piece of paper. Obviously, Obviously now we have the government involved in marriage and stuff, but ultimately marriage for me is between me, my partner, and God. I want to deepen my relationship with my partner, have God involved. Marriage is definitely going to be that next step. Obviously I'm trusting God's timing with this and me and my partner will eventually, you know, be looking to God for when he wants us to get married, what the next step is for us, and I just think that's a great way to deepen and make the relationship more intimate. My third reason is I want to be a mom. I want to have a family and I am a firm believer that it is best to raise a family within a healthy marriage. Emphasis on the healthy. I think a healthy marriage where mom and dad are loving each other, sacrificing for each other, and being the best parents that they can be together, being role models to their parents is like best case scenario. Like I really don't know that many people that their parents are still together, but the people that I do know, I really admire their parents' marriage and their relationship, how they work together, how they raise their kids. The friends that I know that have their parents still together don't have as much like emotional trauma or whatever from their childhood and love going home and love their parents. And I'm not to say that can't happen if your parents aren't together obviously but it's just such an amazing picture of love and family so definitely a partner that's gonna stick with that through me and like I want to have a family I want to be a mom so that is another reason to get married because I am not gonna start a family with someone until I'm married number four this one isn't as like top tiers those three those three are my most important like things about it but financially um there's a lot of financial benefits to getting married and if i want to be a mom i would like to be a stay-at-home mom which means i would like to be married and financially dependent on my spouse i would like to have my own income i mean i always have like youtube and stuff um kind of on the side but my main priority is going to be a mom so i would like to be financially codependent with someone and have someone there to help out financially mortgage and utilities and everything like life can get expensive and have having those two incomes, especially at the beginning before we have a family, is gonna be very helpful. And then there's just a lot of other financial reasons of why to get married, but I don't need to get into that right now. So when do I wanna get married and how do I know that I'm ready for marriage again? What I learned from my last relationship, looking back and knowing that I obviously was not ready to get married. This is kind of a few things that I put together just thinking about it of like, when I know that I'll be ready to get married again. Number one, when I'm complete, when I'm alone, with God. I want to have a unique, separate, and whole relationship with God than I do with my partner. My relationship with God and my partner's relationship with God needs to be completely separate and unique and whole on their own. God will always be my priority. And so if my relationship is taking from my relationship with God, then that is not 
person that I should marry, a place that I should be in to get married because part of the marriage is to honor God. And not only in the relationship with God, but also just being alone in general. When I'm happy alone and I'm complete alone by myself, I don't necessarily need someone else to like fully complete me. I feel like I'm in this position right now. So let's move into the next one. When I have been dating someone for a while that is equally yoked to me. So obviously to me, I want to marry someone who is a man of God, who their relationship with God is top priority. They're, you know, in the Bible every day, maybe reading the Bible with me. I want to be equally yoked to agree on those things. I think that is like the most important in the relationship and then everything else we'll figure out together. But if we're always putting God first, then that relationship is bound to succeed. Number three, when I can fully take care of myself, I'm talking emotionally, physically, financially, and spiritually. I, once again, this kind of relates to like the being alone, just being independent. I am in this position currently, things can change, but right now I am really solid in all of those places in my life. That is a really good thing to do. And I think that anytime anyone's thinking about getting married, you should have some independence goals before you're completely codependent on someone else. Maybe that's just my opinion, but that's definitely what I want for myself. I also want my partner to be completely independent. I think that's something that I undermined previously, but any goal that I'm setting for myself, like having a complete alone relationship with God, uh, being able to fully take care of myself, being equally yoked, like I want this to be equal in the relationship. My partner also needs to be financially, physically, spiritually, and emotionally stable and independent. Number four, when there is something deeper than just an attraction or an emotional connection, I think there is so much more to a relationship, and especially when you get into that like five, 10, 20, 50, whatever years of marriage, there has to be more than just a physical attraction or even an emotional attraction. There has to be deep, actual love for each other and that's where like putting God first really does come in. I don't want to marry someone just because we are in love because that in love emotion or feeling can fade whereas like love, actual love, making hard decisions together, going through the ups and downs together, being there no matter what, telling them things that are hard, that's actual love. Love is an action not an emotion. I want to get through that like emotional phase with someone or like that in love or some people call it like the honeymoon phase which I hope never goes away I always want to be spicing up the relationship but when I know like we've gone through something we can do it this isn't just a lovey-dovey like kind of like teenager love in a way um five when I am what in the world did I write oh <laughs> I'm so confused when I think of marriage with this person and I know that it is my decision and is for my relationship for myself and us it's not outside pressure this is huge the only people making decisions for me and my relationship is me my partner and god so no other outside opinions i don't want to get married because other people are telling us we should or because there's pressure i don't care who you are you are not going to be married to this person for the rest of your life i am so if it is my decision and i'm ready then let's go for it but if someone else is pressuring me or my partner into it no, 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 this is not your life. This is not your marriage. That is a boundary that I'm setting with everyone around me. When I completely trust my partner, I guess I should say I have to completely trust my partner, not when, because I am not even gonna get in a relationship with someone if I don't completely trust them. And obviously throughout the relationship, if they break my trust, we're done. Trust is so important, but I definitely want to have full trust in my partner, knowing that both of us are ready to be loyal to each other, um, to be loyal to our values, be loyal to just the relationship in general there's so much more than just like not cheating on each other when it comes to trust like being super open and vulnerable with each other with our emotions with what's going on in our lives like complete full vulnerability and trust very important before I get married and I think this is a really really big one but my number seven is that we can resolve conflicts in a healthy way I'm not talking suppress the conflicts because conflicts will happen in fact if they don't I'm like are we even like passionate about this are we even committed? Do we even care about each other? You know, conflict will happen, but how we deal with it is a huge thing when it comes to relationships. So I want to deal with it in a healthy way where we don't just brush it off or use our emotions to argue. That's a big thing, pulling myself out of my emotions when I'm upset and even maybe taking some time and then coming back to the issue logically. I want to get to the bottom of the problem. What started this fight? What is the base reason for this conflict? And find a solution there rather than on the surface level someone's upset in the moment type of thing. I want to be very rational 
battle in my conflict with my partner and I want them to be the same way and maybe this is something you know I have to work on with my partner but I'm not gonna marry someone until I know that we're resolving our conflicts in a healthy way and of course always taking it to God so that is honestly all I could think of just kind of over the past couple days thinking of it I'm sure there'll be more to come as I get into a relationship and also as I deepen my relationship with God and just keep you know getting older and living life I might have some more things to add to this list but I wanted to keep it very simple because I feel like pretty much everything else that I want and need for a relationship can kind of be boiled down into these topics of why I want to get married and when I know I'll be ready to marry someone. So as someone who has, uh, you know, kind of made a mistake before and was married very young and did not think about it logically whatsoever, I will be going into this very logical and with God on my back. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but I think you guys get what I'm trying to say. Anyways, so yeah, I do want to get married again. Who knows the timing? Hopefully not soon, but I am trusting God in this. I have surrendered this to him, and so we'll see what happens. I'm like, should I spill some tea? No, nah, no tea is going to be spilled. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!